Let's make a Fessenjun burger. Fessenjun being a rich Persian walnut and pomegranate stew, and burgers being a Western tradition of framing meat with gluten. Our challenge is to use traditional Persian ingredients and flavors and make the final product look like a burger without just being fusion. And we'll start by sprinkling some saffron over an ice cube to bloom, and then set it aside for later. If you add saffron to a dish directly, you're just wasting it. To get the barbecue sauce going, we'll dice up half an onion and mince up some garlic. Add some chicken fat to a pot, and then let the garlic and onion sweat like there's an exam tomorrow and they didn't study. We'll need to turn about a cup of walnut into dust, and then splash in some water and create a walnut slurry. Pour it over the onions and let it simmer for about an hour. Check out that color. Add in some saffron bloom, pomegranate molasses, salt the pot, and apparently half the oven to ward off bad spirits. Toss in some cinnamon, and after a good mix, we'll let it simmer for another hour. That's a great looking barbecue sauce. Burger time! If I had a meat grinder, I'd use fresh chicken thighs, but store-bought ground chicken will suit just fine. Add some salt, pepper, turmeric, and add some fat back in. I'm going to create some monster patties and let them sit in the fridge for at least half an hour. Now I'm going to solve our bun problem with some rice flour. I don't know why I tried to bend my wrist that way. Sugar. Baking soda. Don't drop it and salt. Crack in two eggs. This isn't my best work. And a ton of butter. Fold gently until it's mixed. I'm going to pull about one third of the mix into a separate bowl and add in some saffron. Add back some rice flour to combat the liquid. In a large ramekin, because the bun doesn't have gluten to support itself, we'll add the batter in thirds to create a saffron line through the center. I'm not a baker, so wish me luck. Now let's see how we did. At least it's not stuck. A little dense, but it's done. If the eggs weren't school bus orange, you'd get a better sense of the saffron line through the center. Let me know if you see it. Now as much as I want to slap some lettuce and tomato on, that would be an American fusion. But luckily for me, Shirazi salad exists, which is tomato, cucumber, and red onion in a mint dressing. So we're going to roughly chop up a handful of mint, Add some lime juice, a generous pour of olive oil, salt, pepper, a bit of coriander, and give it a mix. No garlic, unfortunately. We'll cut some chunky tomato slices, a few pieces of cucumber, and a chunk of onion, and leave them to marinate in the dressing. We'll fry the patties on the stove, five minutes per side so we don't let the salmonella win, and start layering our burger. And I present to you chicken fesenjun with a side of saffron rice and Shirazi salad disguised as a hamburger. Thanks for watching. My eyes might have been bigger than my stomach on this one.